Tonight, some people are questioning whether South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem will support a ballot measure eliminating South Dakota's sales tax on groceries. In a recent email, the commissioner of the Bureau of Finance and Management, who works directly underneath the governor, said having lawmakers eliminate the tax would be better than doing it through a ballot measure. But that didn't happen. Despite Noem's support, lawmakers killed legislation that would have gotten rid of the tax. Here's what the governor said in February. We looked at adjustments in property taxes. We looked at all other exemptions that we have in our state statute and recognized the one that would help this state the most and the people that live here and treat everybody fairly is eliminating the sales tax on groceries. Now, there are two proposed 2024 ballot questions that would repeal taxes on items, quote, sold for human consumption. One is an initiated amendment that would change the state constitution. The other is an initiated measure which would change state law. Noam told Kelloland News on March 1st that she'd support the ballot measure. But in a report published today by South Dakota Newswatch, Dim Terwilliger, the commissioner of South Dakota's Bureau of Finance and Management, said, quote, as drafted, the ballot measure would bring us out of compliance with streamlined sales tax and prevent the state from taxing tobacco or medical marijuana. The language from the governor's proposal during session did not have these issues and is the better direction for the state. The attorney general's statements on the ballot questions say they could impact South Dakota's obligations under a tobacco settlement agreement which came from legal action taken against cigarette manufacturers. The statements go on to say the state's share of this agreement is roughly $20 million every year. We emailed and called the governor's office and the Bureau of Finance and Management for clarification, but have not heard back. Additionally, Kellan News requested an interview with the sponsor of both proposals. The Coins for Health responded with a news release saying, quote, the tobacco settlement does not prohibit a state from eliminating its sales tax on groceries.